What's up guys, Retro Gamer Steve back with another video and tonight's video is going to be a pickups video. Um, I have gotten some stuff in over the last two weeks but not a ton. I was hoping for two uh, pretty big items to arrive by today. However, that is not to be. Looks like one will be here tomorrow and hopefully uh, the other one will be here sometime next week. Um, but anyway, uh, without making you guys wait any longer, let's go ahead and I'll show you guys what I've had come in. Alright guys, so first of all, uh, stopped at a game store near my girlfriend's house and uh, picked up a couple of things. One of them was um, this Prima Pikmin guide. Um, this was a small one. But this is for the original Pikmin. This is the Wii version. And uh, I'm trying to pick up strategy guides anytime I can. And I got this one for a pretty good deal. So I was happy to pick this one up. And the other one I picked up there also for a good deal is the Super Paper Mario. Uh, this is from Nintendo Power for the Wii. And this is in really nice shape, so I was really glad to get both of these. As you can see how much bigger or how small the Pikmin one is, but this one is a Prima and this is a Nintendo Power. then I stopped at a couple of Goodwills and I was able to pick these ones up for uh, anywhere from one to two dollars a piece and I picked up the Prima uh, official game guide for Splinter Cell Conviction and anytime I can pick these up for a dollar or two uh, I absolutely do it and even if I don't have the game for the manual um, more than likely I can go out and get the game and then I've got the manual for it. So it still has the Goodwill stickers on there. I actually need to take those off. Then for another Goodwill find, this was another, I think this one was two bucks. as Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. And this is a Brady Guides. I love getting uh, reading material for games. Another $2 pickup is this Brady's Game Guide, Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. This is for the PS3. And these things are just awesome. I could just sit down and read these things even if I'm not playing the game. And then the last one I picked up is another Prima, and that is for Madden 15. Now we'll get into some games. Also at a Goodwill, my girlfriend found uh, both of these. So we had to pick them up because she is a fan. And that is Skylander Superchargers for the Wii U. Um, I, do have, um, I do have this for the Wii U, but it's a sealed copy. So we found a, a loot or a a complete disc only and then also for the Wii U Skylanders Giants uh, she likes the Skylanders games and I was able to pick up a huge box of them uh, a couple of months ago for 10 bucks and there was a hundred and thirty Skylanders in there ended up being worth a good bit of money um, so since I found out that she enjoys those games I've been picking them up and plus I enjoy collecting for the Wii U 
plus at the Goodwill, I was able to find a complete copy for uh, Mortal Kombat Trilogy for the PlayStation. This is a black label. And I was super happy to pick this up for five bucks. It's got one little, uh, one little crack, minor crack on the back of the case, but everything else is in really nice shape. And um, picked this up for five bucks, and this game's going for forty dollars online. So really happy to to run across that. Then. Uh, Found some more Walmart uh, markdowns that got good deals on. First one being The Sims 3 for the Wii. This is a sealed copy. Uh, this was $1, and this game is actually going for $20. So I picked that up for a buck at Walmart. And also picked up a sealed copy of Farming Simulator 18 for the 3DS. I uh, paid nine dollars for this game actually it looks like a lot of fun picked up a sealed copy of monster hunter stories for the 3ds i think i paid eleven dollars for this game love getting 3ds games as well And the last 3DS game I picked up for, I think, 11 bucks is Kirby Battle Royale. This is also a sealed copy. So again, guys, go to your local Walmart, download the Walmart app, and use their scanner because a lot of times the stickers are wrong. And scan these games, I'm telling you, you can find some really, really good deals. Another game I picked up is a sealed copy of Hello Kitty Cruisers for the Wii U. I was really happy to get this one sealed. It does have one little mark right here where it's been pushed in, but uh, this is a very uncommon game for the Wii U, so to have a sealed copy I thought it was pretty cool. Then for my anniversary, my girlfriend bought me two games so that we could play together. One of them is Mortal Kombat, the complete edition for the Xbox 360. Um, she is a huge fan of Jade or Scarlet, and uh, she wanted to be able to play as her and so we've been playing a lot of Mortal Kombat lately. And another, <clears throat> another game I got at Walmart for super cheap um, that my girlfriend wanted is SteamWorld Dig 2 for the Switch. And I paid $9, I believe, for this game. Um, super cute. She's uh, really uh, enjoying this game already. If you guys haven't seen this game before, go check out some gameplay footage. It's really cute. Um, but yeah, I got this one for nine bucks. It comes with a, a map and a reversible cover, actually. It's pretty cool. Then in, um, disc, or the cartridge is in the Switch. She's been playing it. And then this is a reversible. Um, it's got a missing poster. And then the other side is the as the cover there, but that's pretty cool. And then the other game she bought me for my for our anniversary is Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath with the DLC, which is awesome. Um, Robocop is my man. I love him. That character is awesome. Uh, we've been playing the crap out of this, and this game is just a ton of fun especially having the DLC characters, uh, just having a blast playing this. And we've started working our way through the towers and story mode so we can unlock Frost. 
All right, couple more items, guys. One of these, I've been working on my Sega Saturn collection, and I've got a couple of games that uh, require more memory. So I was able to pick up a complete in-box, and this thing is Minty Fresh Action Replay Plus for the Sega Saturn. I have it in this box protector here, but this is just basically a cartridge to put into your Sega Saturn that gives you memory, uh, expands your RAM, um, also gives you hundreds of game codes and cheat codes for certain games, and then also allows you to be able to play Japanese and European games on your Sega Saturn so that you don't have to have uh, the Japanese version Saturn or um, anything else like that. You can just play them directly on your US Saturn. So I was really glad to pick this up. Then at the game store near my girlfriend's house, there was this, uh, this PSP Go right here that was in this case. And this thing was so disgusting, I didn't even really want to touch it, but I took a chance on it at 45 bucks because these things go for about $130 to $150 loose. So I bought it. Uh, she plugged it up and showed me that it did work. And so I brought it home and cleaned it. Uh, there is one mark right there that's a, a nick. But when I took this thing off here, and show you guys, when I came home, I thoroughly cleaned this thing and I got this for a steal. So I already have a black one and now I got this white one and other than that nick in the screen and a couple other tiny little nicks, but this thing is beautiful. I mean, this screen was disgusting. I didn't even know if I was gonna be able to clean it but uh, this thing is just in great condition. So I got this for a third of what they're going for online. It's in great shape. No nicks or scratches or dings anywhere on the body. And when you open it up, this thing was just brown and it looked like somebody had held a lighter to it. All of this stuff was disgusting. I spent uh, about an hour and a half cleaning this uh, with Goo Gone and alcohol and everything else and this thing came out beautiful um so like i said other than that little ding in the screen there um i got this for 45 dollars, and this goes for 130 all day long so now i have the black and the white psp go to add to my handheld game collection and that case that came with it as well I was able to clean all of this off and decided I'm going to keep this thing in it. That way it keeps it protected. And you can still play this thing while it's in the case. All right, guys, so the last item I've got to show you is something I actually ordered right when this COVID-19 crisis hit. And they're not even shipping from Japan to the United States yet, but this seller was really nice. And because I waited so long, they actually paid um, uh, DHL to ship this to me um, within five days. So I actually waited almost three months for this to arrive. This is a Japanese version, complete in box, Monster Hunter 4 3DS LL. I'm not gonna go through unboxing it, but uh, that's what the top of it looks like. But this thing is um, complete in the box. The inside is just your normal black setup, but that's what the front looks like. And then the back has a design with two gold star type designs on the front. It does come with the game. And as you can see, this thing is in really nice shape. 
This was about two and a half, almost three months for it to get here. But uh, I was super happy to see it arrive. And guys, I got this for a killer deal, complete in the box, $100. Um, couldn't pass that up. Love me some Capcom. And the Monster Hunter series is pretty cool. So I love adding uh, different variations of handheld consoles to my collections, as you guys can already tell. But I was really pleased to pick this one up. So that's my pickups for the last two weeks, guys. Other than the two items that haven't arrived yet. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the uh, pickups video. If you did and you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, guys, think about subscribing and hit that thumbs up. That helps small channels like mine grow and gain traction. And if you did enjoy this content, do yourselves a favor and check out this group of uh, creators over here. These channels, these content creators are all people that I'm friends with. I look up to all of these people. Um, awesome content creators, awesome collections, just fantastic channels. If you guys aren't yet subscribed or have not yet checked these channels out, uh, do yourselves a favor and, and tell them that I sent you guys. Um, and again, guys, thank you for watching the pickups video. Um, I will be back Monday for my handheld game of the week, number 18. So I hope you guys come back Monday and check that out. And then, of course, next Friday, a pickups video or uh, possibly um, a collections video with a couple of pickups in it. But either way, uh, I really appreciate you guys checking out the uh, video and watching till the end. Uh, thank you guys. I'll see you next week and keep gaming.